It took Amazon 13 years to return a 10,000% profit to customers. It has taken only 5 months for Dogecoin to achieve this stage. Hi all, and welcome to Crypto Fire. In today's video, we'll discuss why massive short squeeze might just be on the way for Dogecoin. We're giving away one Ethereum to a random subscriber. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe, press the bell icon, and leave a comment in the comment section about your favorite crypto coin. Best wishes. We'll also tell you about a Dogecoin tip that only a few people know about. Now, let's get started. According to Yahoo Finance, Doge hit a new all-time high of 60 cents on Tuesday, taking Dogecoin's market cap above $70 billion and making it the fourth most valuable coin. That means that a $1,000 bet on Doge at the start of the year, when it was worth about half a penny, is now worth more than $100,000. It's a mind-boggling way to see the cryptocurrency's more than 10,000% rise this year, despite the fact that it was developed as a joke. Regardless of the narrative of increased popularity, that alone should give any crypto investor pause, given that the Federal Reserve's unrestricted money printing is frequently cited by Dogecoin supporters as a key reason for preferring Bitcoin over the dollar. However, Doge has an additional advantage over other cryptocurrencies in terms of lower transaction costs and quicker settlement times. Even before Musk joined the league, over 1.6 million people joined the Dogecoin Reddit forum, up from 1.3 million three weeks earlier. Inter the growing network of people in on the joke might be enough to keep the explosion going. For interestingly, the South Sea bubble in 1720, the railway mania in 1847, and the dot-com boom in the early 2000s all collapsed because the real business activities being reported on were oversold. Many Dogecoin holders, however, remain convinced that the cryptocurrency would not become a medium of exchange or a long-term store of value. It's reminiscent of another quote popularized by Warren Buffett, a famous businessman who, coincidentally, has no interest in cryptocurrencies. When the tide goes out, you find out who's been swimming naked. He said that, unlike other cryptocurrencies, Dogecoin does not have a limit. Miners continue to receive an annual allowance of 5 billion coins for keeping the network safe and operational. By 2030, there will be 180 billion Dogecoins in circulation. Dogecoin's total market capitalization would be $180 billion if it were priced at $1 per coin. It's not quite as large as one would think consider that there are approximately 18 million bitcoins in circulation right now, with a market capitalization of approximately $900 billion. Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency, has a market capitalization of $200 billion. Elon Musk has long praised the digital token to his over 50 million Twitter followers, and some speculated that mentioning Dogecoin on national television would pique interest even more. Unfortunately, it did not have the desired effect. However, if you bought Doge at the beginning of the year, you still made a lot of money in the last four months, far more than if you had invested in other cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin and Ether, which grew 95 and 369%, respectively. During the same time span, Dogecoin has risen by more than 12,000%. However, before you purchase Dogecoin in the hopes of profiting from the boom, consider the following. Remember that performance and stability do not always go hand in hand, and many have warned of Dogecoin's bubble potential. When it comes to a risky token, such as Dogecoin, don't put any money into it that you aren't willing to gamble fully. Cryptocurrency newcomers do not understand the difference in price increases between Bitcoin and Dogecoin. While Bitcoin has built-in economic incentives for miners and a hard cap of 21 million Bitcoins, Dogecoin does not. Curiosity on Twitter and Reddit, on the other hand, is what fuels its rise. Elon Musk's Tesla became the world's first car company to accept Bitcoin as payment for its vehicles in February, and if a recent tweet from Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk is any indication, the electric car manufacturer may soon adopt Dogecoin as well. His current obsession is cryptocurrency, especially Dogecoin. The billionaire has previously gone by the nickname Dogefather. Musk posed a question earlier this week, just two days after referring to Dogecoin as a hustle on SNL. He posted it on Twitter, where the Tesla CEO has over 50 million followers and interacts with them on a daily basis. He asked whether Tesla should accept Dogecoin as a Dogecoin or not. At the time of recording, the overwhelming majority of over 3 million people who had registered. Their opinion were in favor of Tesla accepting Doge as a form of payment. While 78% of respondents wanted Tesla to embrace Dogecoin, only about 22% wanted the opposite. 
He did, though, tweet something unexpected the next day. Next year, SpaceX will fly the satellite Doge 1 to the moon. Doge was used to pay for the mission, the very first crypto in space. It's the very first meme in space to the moon. Musk tweeted this a day after his appearance on SNL. At the beginning of 2021, a $1,000 investment in Dogecoin will be worth more than $130,000. Today, the same investment will be worth over $300,000 if made in 2019. 10,000 new Dogecoins are programmed to be released every minute, meaning that the value was never expected to hold. However, it continues to be in the spotlight. Individual investors, on the other hand, are eventually driving the price up, thanks to the efforts of everyone from Elon Musk to Mark Cuban to Guy Fieri and traders who have chosen to defy logic. It's as much a cheap diversion that irritates the pro-trading community as it is a serious financial vehicle for those who are willing to possess the crypto. They did, however, take it seriously enough to be outraged when Robinhood's cryptocurrency trading was halted. Companies, on the other hand, are jumping on board quickly. Dogecoin tickets are now being sold by the Oakland Athletics. Earlier this year and last week, Cuba claimed that the Dallas Mavericks will complete 60,000 Dogecoin transactions in April, saying that it is a cryptocurrency that people use rather than holding it. It has passed through the first significant support level of 44 cents, second of 38.2 cents and another of 30 cents. Following a 12% rise that ended the day at about 50 cents, Dogecoin's price fell to about 48 cents 10 hours later. At the time of writing, Dogecoin's price has risen again to about 50 cents. We predict that it's going to trade at about 50 to 55 cents in the coming days, until and unless the likes of Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos or Mark Cuban make a huge announcement again. Consider, for example, the crash of Robinhood last month. It was caused by Elon Musk's tweet of a dog barking at the moon, implying that Dogecoin is now aiming for the moon. It took a couple of months for the rush to trigger the spike and crash the platform. Prices have risen by about 11,000%, which is huge when compared to the growth of other coins on the market. If Jeff Bezos invests in Dogecoin, he would inject millions of dollars into the market, allowing the economy to function more efficiently. Now, coming back to the price, it had fallen to a low of 35 cents in the early last week before rising to a high of 43 cents, suggesting a mixed start to the week. It then reached the $38.2 mark, but then rose again to about 46 after Elon's first tweet after SNL. Dogecoin must avoid a drop through the pivot point of 43 cents, though. However, for Dogecoin to break out of the 55 cent range, it will need market support. Any further gains would almost certainly be limited by the first major resistance level and resistance at 50 cents. If Dogecoin breaks out again, it can face resistance at the 55 cents, as well as the second major resistance level at 58 cents, unless there is a sustained crypto rally. If the market fails to avoid a drop through the pivot at 43 cents, the market will test the first meaningful support level at 33 cents. Dogecoin, on the other hand, should prevent dropping below 30 cents unless there is another prolonged sell-off, which is unlikely at the moment. In conclusion, short-term market dynamics indicate that the Doge is poised to strike a dollar and then eventually climb to higher levels. The demand supply balance, the change away from cash, and the price of other cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin are driving the transition from current low levels to higher levels. And with that, we've come to the end of the video. We hope you found it useful. Please subscribe to our channel for more content just like this one, and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to hit that like button, and also press the bell icon to get notified about our new videos. Goodbye, take care.